Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. So in today's video, we're going to be assembling this one and a quarter hydraulic ram pump. As you watch this video, if it seems a bit daunting, remember you can always buy a pump at landahouse.com. Hope you enjoy. For this ram pump build demonstration, I'm going to be using the one and a quarter size pump. So let's go over all the parts we need to build the pump. First, I've got some one and a quarter close pipe nipples. This allows the components to be screwed close together and not have any extra gap between. So we have six of those. I have got two three quarter pipe nipples and um, the same close style. Next I have a one and a quarter ball valve. I've got a one and a quarter PVC union. Next, I've got two threaded PVC T's. It's threaded on all three sides. Two of those. Then I've got a spring check valve threaded. So this has a spring on the inside that allows uh, water to flow through one direction and not the other. Next I have a bushing that goes from one and a quarter down to three quarter. Then I've got another union, it's a three quarter threaded. Then a ball valve, three quarter threaded. And then lastly here, I have a brass swing check valve. This is threaded on both ends and inside here there is a little lever that closes on a swing motion. Now to assemble the pump we're going to have to have some pipe tape. This is just Teflon tape and then to make sure things are tightened up I have a couple of wrenches here. The first step in the pump assembly is to take the Teflon tape and put it around these pipe nipples and we're going to be doing that in a clockwise position. And the reason for that is because whenever it's time to actually screw components onto this we want to make sure that they do not unscrew or remove the Teflon tape. So on each of these I'm just going to wrap a couple of times and then make sure that this um, pipe tape stays on the uh, nipple here. I'm going to do that on both sides of each one of these. Once all of those are done, I also want to make sure that I get this pipe tape on the three-quarter size as well. This pipe tape will allow the components to um, screw together in a more fluid manner and it helps to create a better seal in the components. Now the Teflon tape has been put on all of the pipe nipples, it's time to assemble the pump. So first of all, take your one and a quarter ball valve and a pipe nipple and thread that together. Now we'll worry about tightening these later. So next you want the one and a quarter union and that's just going to go on this other side over here. Okay. Now we want another one of our pipe nipples. Okay. Next we want one of the T's. Okay. Another pipe nipple. Now 
Next, we want the spring check valve. Now, when you look on here, you need to make sure that the flow is pointing away from the components we just put together. There's an arrow on these that dis uh, distinguishes the flow direction. Okay, next we want another pipe nipple. Oops. Okay. Then next we want to do another one of these T's. Now, before we can move on, we also have to put Teflon tape on the bushing here. Forgot to mention that earlier. Okay. And uh, clockwise, just like the uh, previous. The threaded bushing is going to go on the end of that second T. Now, on that three-quarter end here, we're going to put one of the three-quarter pipe nipples. Okay, now from that pipe nipple, we're going to put the other union, the three-quarter inch union. Okay, so on the other side of that union is another pipe nipple. And then lastly, on this row, is going to be the three-quarter ball valve. Okay, now you'll notice we still have two of these pipe nipples left. The first one, we're going to put here at the first T. And that is for our swing brass check valve. Now with this, you want to make sure that the door is going to fall open from gravity. So it's going to screw on to this pipe nipple with the door hanging open. We'll tighten that later. So the last one of these pipe nipples is going to go in the second T, and that's going to be used for our pressure tank. Now we'll get to that here in just a bit. Now that each of the components has been put together, it's time to tighten this down. I like to use these two wrenches here and just grab a hold and tighten this down. Now we are working with PVC, so you can't tighten it too much or you may risk breaking things. If you're building with a uh, steel components, you can tighten down maybe a little bit tighter. So I'm going to go through the line and tighten all of these up. The pump is now fully assembled and tightened. Now one thing to note whenever you're tightening your parts is that the both T's need to be facing in the same direction. So you can see this one's up here and this one's up here. And that's because um, you want this to be sitting rather flat uh, whenever it's working. So the pressure tank will be over here and this check valve is also up and down here. Other than that, just make sure everything is nice and tight. So let's go and start building our pressure tank. To build the pressure tank for the one and a quarter pump, we'll need a few items. A four inch PVC schedule 40 pipe. We'll need a four inch coupling, a four inch uh, socket to 
one and a quarter threaded bushing, and then a four inch cap. And also, we'll need an inner tube. This is a bicycle inner tube. Um, as long as it's maybe a 26 inch, somewhere around there, should be fine. The tools you'll need for this build are some form of PVC cutting device. I've got an angle grinder here. You need a tape measure, a pen to mark with, safety glasses, some earplugs if you're using uh, the grinder, uh, PVC cement, and a bike pump. To get started, I'm going to take the tape measure here and measure out 17 inches and mark that on the pipe. Okay. Now I'm going to spin the pipe a couple of times and mark that 17 inches so we can get a reasonably straight cut with this angle grinder. Now, with both ear and eye protection on, I'm going to use the angle grinder to cut along the line to get this 17 inch pipe section. Now that we have our pipe section cut, it's time to assemble the pressure tank. I'm going to take the PVC cement here, and I'm going to coat the inside of the coupling. Make sure you get a very good coverage in here. Okay. I'm going to simply stick the pipe into this spot. Make sure it's real snug there. Next, I'm going to coat the other side of the coupling. And put the bushing on here. So it will look a little bit like this. This next step is to insert the bike inner tube into the pressure tank. Now there's no real value here. Um, you just kind of make sure that the tube is reasonably uh, tight, but not uh, too tight. So I'm just gonna lightly poke this down here and then grab it from the underside and pull it enough that I can attach my pump to it. I'm just going to start filling this up and then make sure I stuff the other end down into the pipe. All right, and now you can just start pumping this until the whole tube seems tight. here and see yeah that's pretty tight so we're gonna leave it there pop the pump off put the cap back on I'm gonna stick this into the pipe now it's time to put the cap on just as with the bushing and the coupling I'm gonna put a nice coat of PVC cement in here Make sure it's thoroughly coated. And then I'm just going to push this on here. Now to finish off this build, I just add a Land to House sticker. And we are done. Now at this point you have the two pieces completed. The last step is to attach your pressure tank onto this threaded nipple here and that will complete the build of your hydraulic ram pump. 
Well, I hope you learned a lot in this video. Now you can make your very own hydraulic ram pump. Now, if these steps seemed a little bit daunting to you, remember, you can buy your own pump at landahouse.com. Take a moment to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.